वेलकम टू एजूर टीच डॉट नेट वी आर गोइंग टू डेवलप ए वेब एपीआई कंट्रोलर विच विल रीड द रिकॉर्ड फ्रॉम दिस एम्प्लॉय टेबल इन टू ए डाटा टेबल एंड ट्रांसफॉर्म दैट इन टू ए सी एस पी फाइल एंड रिटर्न दैट फाइल वी आर गोइंग टू टेस्ट आर कोड यूजिंग स्वैगर एंड द आउटकम विल लुक लाइक दिस हियर आई एम ट्राइंग आउट द गेट मेथड on clicking of the execute it will show us a download file button on clicking of this it will download the file here i have created dotnet 5 web api project but the code that we are going to write would work in dotnet core 3 as well here i am adding a new controller and i am choosing api api controller mt clicking on add button and i am naming the controller as employee controller and here we have to write an action that will go to the database and retrieve all these records and transform them into a csv file and return the file so here i am writing the action public i action result i am naming the action as export and here i want to go with http get so here i am writing http get and i want to use the same name that is export as my action name so here i am giving action here i am writing using sql connection connection is equal to new sql connection and we have to install nuget package related to sql connection ideally we have to write the database related code inside the data layer but i want to keep this demo simple so that's the reason i am writing the database related code over here and here i am writing connection dot open and after that we have to create a command sql command command is equal to new sql command and to this we have to pass the query so here i'm writing select star from dbo.employee and to this we have to pass the connection object and after that here i'm writing using sql data adapter adapter is equal to new sql data adapter and to this we have to pass the sql command and here i am declaring data set i'm pressing control dot and we have to use this namespace ds is equal to new data set and here we can use the adapter object to fill the data set so here i'm writing adapter dot fill and passing the data set so this will retrieve the table information and fill the data set and now we have to transform this data table to a csv so here i'm writing string csv data is equal to transform table to csv so to this i am passing ds dot tables of 0 so inside this method we have to transform the data table to a csv data so here i am generating a new method and here as we need to convert the data table into a csv file we are going to read each record of the table and append it to a string builder so here i am writing string builder pressing control dot and we have to use this namespace and here i am writing csv builder is equal to new string builder and in a csv file first we have to add the header of the csv so here i am writing i enumerable of string column names is equal to data table dot columns dot cast and we are casting this to data column and after that we have to select the column names that we get so here i'm writing x dot column name and now we have to append these column names here we'll get the list of column names the column names are employee id name salary and email so as we have to append that with the comma so what we can do is csv builder dot 
append line and here we can use string dot join function and to this we have to pass the separator the separator is the comma and here we have to pass the param object value so we can give this column names list or the enumerable object and here after that we have to iterate over the data table and read each row so here i'm writing for each data row row in data table dot rows and inside this also we are going to do the similar thing here i am writing i enumerable of string fields is equal to row dot item array this item array will return the rows cells as an array and after that here we are writing select and the lambda expression and here we have to add certain logic here i have two csv files and this is its content so here we have name and salary as the headers and if you see we don't have any additional commas inside the data but if you see here here we have name that includes first name and last name with a comma and after that we have salary so the number of commas inside the header is not equal to number of commas inside the data let me open these files in excel so here we are opening csv that has additional commas as we have additional commas it moved the last name to the salary cell and this column doesn't have any header and now if i open this csv file this csv file would look fine in order to fix this issue we can enclose the data in double quotes like this and here also i'm doing the same after making this change and saving the file if i open the csv again it will look as expected we have to add the similar logic over here so here i'm writing string dot concat and we have to enclose the data in double quotes so here i'm writing a double quote and after that here we have to use x dot to string as we are adding the double quotes if the data is having the double quotes we have to escape that so we have to replace the double quotes with double double quotes now so here i'm writing the double quote and after that as we are going to replace the double quote which is inside the data we have to use the double double quotes and after that we have to write the closing double quotes so here again a double quote now this will return the fields data and we have to append that to our csv builder so csv builder dot append line and here we have to use the string dot join again and again here we are passing the comma and after that the fields and now from here we have to return csv builder dot to string now we have to convert this csv data which is a string into the byte array and use the file method of the web api to return the file result so here i'm writing where file bytes is equal to we have to use encoding class encoding dot utf8 dot get bytes you can use ascii encoding and any other encoding as well so here i'm passing the csv data this will convert the string into the bytes and after that from here we can return return file and this file method has some overloads we are going to use those overloads to return the file so here i am returning file bytes and after that here we have to pass the content type so the content type is text slash csv and after that we can pass a file name over here so here i am mentioning the file name as employee data dot csv 
one last thing that we have to do is we have to pass the connection string over here so i am going to the server explorer and i'm right clicking on the data connection and here i'm choosing add connection and here i'm pasting the local sql server name and here i'm choosing the database name that is demo db and here if we go to the advanced it will give us the connection string so i'm selecting the connection string clicking on cancel and here i'm pasting the connection string that's it that is what we have to do and now i'm running the solution as this is a .NET 5 web api project it opened the swagger by default i'm clicking on get try it out and clicking on execute if our code is correct it will return 200 and also the file so here it returned the 200 success response and also the file here we have to note and as we are using this file method it is doing all the required things for us in returning the csv file here we have the content disposition as attachment and the file name that we have passed and also the encoding of the file and also the file name again so i'm clicking on this download link it downloaded the file i'm opening the file it has the data that we have exported from the database if you feel this video is helpful to you please like this video and also subscribe to azureteach.net channel for more videos on .net and azure thank you